Hey guys, this read is for Scorpio. Let's go ahead and jump on in. We'll see what the universe has in store for you guys today. So universe, what messages whoops, do you have for Scorpio? I guess she's good to go. Let's see what we want. Love begins, temptation, triumphant success, the solar plexus chakra, um, which speaks to self-esteem and inner power and hope. So I'm almost feeling like this love begins is speaking to you. This is you learning to learn yourself or to learning to love yourself again. That's the vibe that I'm getting in this. Um, sort of building yourself back up, building up your self, self-esteem Fulfillment of wishes, harmony, memories of love, passion ignited, and power. Mm -hmm. We might even be talking about a relationship here too. Um, Mmm, that would make sense. Rekindling and igniting that passion back in your relationship. Um, maybe you guys got a little bit busy just with everyday life and kind of got into a bit of a rut. And maybe you let yourself, um, let yourself get into a little bit of a rut too um, in a way that made you feel less confident about yourself and about how your partner felt about you and if they were attracted to you. But whatever you guys have done, whatever changes you have made, I feel like you've completely turned that around. I think feel like it's building you right back up again. I feel like it's deepening your connection. It's bringing that power back and passion back into your relationship. I'm going to go ahead and and keep going here because I want some clarification on this so we can figure out exactly what's going on. So I have the Ace of Pentacles, uh, which represents new beginnings. And it usually speaks to finance. Then I have the Two of Pentacles, which can speak of um, balance and juggling Finding a balance between work and home. And the Knight of Pentacles, which represents something you've been working towards for a long time, finally coming to fruition. So I wonder if this isn't what um, contributed to the issues before everybody got busy um, with work. maybe trying to achieve something specific at work and it took extra time and extra energy um, and it took that away from the home life I do have the judgment card um, sometimes she's called uh, karma and um, she talks about getting back what you've put out so I feel like all the work that you've put in you're about to see the payoff of that if you haven't already magician card and the magician card uh, speaks to having all the tools that you need uh, to be successful in life uh, the ten of wands represents um, feeling overburdened so I feel like feel like this situation between the two of you uh, maybe being in a rut um, focusing more on work than your relationship I feel like that was going on for quite a while it was building up over time And I feel like this is recent. This change with the Knight of Pentacles that's allowed you more time to put back into each other. Um, 
and be happy and healthy. I have the High Priestess and she tends to represent things um, that are still unknown to us that we found out, we find out sort of along the way on our path. Um, I think you found some of them out already in this learning to reconnect with each other and learning to sort of reignite that passion in your relationship. So I think there's been lessons learned in that and I think those are gifts along the way as well, being able to to get to know each other better, to find that happiness again. Uh, the Ace of Swords represents triumph. So I have the Two of Cups, um, and I have it in between the Ace of Wands and the Chariot. And the Chariot represents a positive movement forward. The Two of Cups represents a relationship. So this is you and your partner. And then to me, the Ace of Wands represents the passion in your relationship. So these three cards speak to me of you being able to, to find that passion again. And then encouragement with the positive forward movement uh, to keep, keep going the way that you are going. Don't fall back into old habits. I was trying to figure out how he fit in here and now I think I no I think I get it I have the page of Pentacles um he is sometimes represent a person a youth who's academically inclined I'm next to the four of Pentacles so this is the vibe that I get off of these cards um this is a child that belongs to both of you an older child and I feel like things were tight financially um I feel like it, it may have impacted um, their academic opportunities or was going to impact their academic opportunities. I feel like you're now in a position uh, where you can send them uh, for post-secondary, you're able to help with that, uh, if not pay for it all. I feel like it's putting you in a place that allows you um, to share with this person and, and give them opportunities um, that you wouldn't otherwise have been able to. I also have the Queen of Pentacles um, and she tends to represent uh, someone who is uh, wealthy, incompetent, incapable. Um, and I feel like this is where you're at now that you are, you are in a position you are wanting to share that with others, you're wanting to help. I also have the Seven of Wands. Uh, the Seven of Wands represents standing up for your ideals. Um, drawing your line in the sand. I feel like I feel like there's someone who doesn't want you to share. Because I got the Devil card a while back and I wasn't quite sure how he fit in. But I feel that he ties in uh, with the Four of Pentacles that is sometimes called the Miser card as well as um, the King of Swords. I just get a vibe that somebody is, somebody is not wanting to, to share and help out with this person going to school. Like they're telling you not to, not to help, not to do it. Um, Maybe they just feel like your kid should do it on their own, that it will mean more. They have their own reasons for whatever it is. Um, but at the end of the day, it's your opinion that counts. Um, and you're going to stand your ground on that one. You're going to stand up for your ideals and what's important to you. And I feel like generosity is important to you and helping out. I have the death card as well. And the death card uh, tends to represent transition and sort of ending one chapter and beginning another. And I think that's happening in a couple of different aspects of your life. I feel like your relationship is entering a new chapter um, by healing, by getting that passion back. Um, but also financially, I feel like you guys have, have begun a new chapter as well.
So I have the Hierarch font here. Um, and the Hierarch font tends to speak of, of a higher learning. And I feel like that's what it's talking to here. Um, life lessons, um, learning about what's important in life, what your values are, what really truly matters. Um, I have the Empress here and I get a very motherly vibe off of her and that nurturing and that caring. And I think she ties into the Queen of Pentacles and the page here who's going to school and wanting to care for others and help. Um, it's very nurturing. I also have the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands uh, speaks of working towards a goal over a long period of time. And I feel like that was this, this speaks to this career situation, the financial situation is something you were wanting to achieve for a long time. You were working hard at for a long time. And I have the Six of Swords, which represents moving um, from sort of a stormier time in your life into a calmer one. And I think that's also what's a, the financial aspect of things has allowed to happen here because it's relieved a lot of those stresses so that you're now able to focus on on more personally fulfilling things instead of just bills, bills, bills. Um, I also have the Six of Pentacles over here in this corner too where I was talking about sharing, going to school and generosity. And the Six of Pentacles can represent um, an even balance, a give and take. To me, in this it represents your generosity as well. And you're wanting to to share with others, to share your good fortune with others and help other people out. Um, I have the page of wands, which can represent good news. So to me, I feel like it brings you fulfillment to do good things for others. Uh, you like to give good news. You like to help. Um, that's what these cards speak to me of. I have the ten of cups, which speaks of happiness in the home life. And I think that's definitely what you're achieving now um, with all of these changes. It, you just It's a much happier home. You're much more relaxed. You're finding much more fulfillment. And I have the emperor here. And to me, he's almost like, like the ultimate of every aspect. So that, that achievement in finance, that achievement in your personal life, being able to help other people, it's like, all those good things that you've always wanted, all of it just rolled into one. So I have authority, disruption, uh, material and spiritual prosperity, and accelerated motion. So to me, the disruption is speaking of this change in this transition. Um, so you're moving from one way of being to another. So disrupting old patterns. And I feel like accelerated motion uh, is that things changed quite quickly for you. Uh, this financial situation, I think this was, I don't want to say overnight, but it was a very short period of time in which that changed. And then I feel like it was a short period of time in which everything else just fell into place, kind of like dominoes. Uh, once that first one got rolling, they just boop, 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 and everything's just been getting better and better since then. As you keep going along the line of dominoes, everything is just falling into place. Um, feel like it's giving you a new power in your life. I feel like that's what the authority card speaks to. It's like, you have more control now, you have more choices, you have more options, and you can dictate where your life goes now. Uh, instead, of, instead of the bills and all of that, you're able to, to say for yourself how you want to live. And material and spiritual prosperity, I mean, I feel like that ties in with everything else here. Um, and the financial change that has allowed other changes to happen in your life as well. Alrighty guys, that's what this read says to me. I hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to comment because I love hearing from you guys. Take care.